The Finale Setup Wizard walks you through selecting the instrument staves for your score, title and composer information, tempo, key, and time signature, all formatted and ready for you to enter the notes. When you open Finale, the launch window automatically appears on your screen. If it is not showing up, click on the File menu, Launch Window, to bring it up. To create a new score, click on the Setup Wizard button. The first window opens. In the first column, under Select an Ensemble, you can click Create New Ensemble to create a new score from scratch or select a score configuration from the templates listed there. At the bottom of the window, the score and part page size settings default to 8.5 by 11 and to portrait orientation, but you can always click on the pop-up menus and choose other page sizes if desired. Next, go up to select a document style. A document style contains setup for music and text fonts, layouts and specialized markings for specific types of musical scores. The default style is the engraved style, but there are some other options available. The handwritten style uses Finale's Broadway copyist font. In the band category, if you choose band score, your score will have tighter staff spacing to accommodate all the staves in a large score. In the choral category, if you choose one of the choral options, your score will have wider staff spacing to accommodate the lyrics and the dynamics will automatically be placed above the staves. In the general category, for example, if you choose the elementary educator document style, your score will automatically have larger notes and staves, and the eighth notes will be beamed in pairs. So, depending on the type of score you're creating, you may want to choose the appropriate document style to take advantage of the automatic setup features. For now, I'll click Create New Ensemble and Engrave Style. Click the Next button to go to the next window. In this window, I'll select the instruments that I want in my score. At the top where it says Select from All Instruments, I can do a sort for the type of instruments I'm looking to add whether it be wind ensemble, choral, or other options. For now, I'll just select all so all of the possible instrument options will show. When I click on a particular instrument family in the first column, all of the instrument options appear in the second column. For example, if I click on keyboards in column one, all of the keyboard options appear in column two or strings in column one, all string options appear in column two. If I want to create a woodwind quintet, I'll click on woodwinds in column one, flute in column two, and the add button to add a flute to column three. I'll click oboe and add, bassoon and add. I can also just double click on an instrument to add it to column three. I'll double click on clarinet and B flat. And if I want to add another clarinet, I'll just double click again. After the fact, if I decide I didn't want two clarinets and I want to delete one of them, I'll highlight one of them and click the remove button. To add a French horn, I'll click on the Brass family in Column 1, double-click on Horn in F to add it to Column 3. Make sure the instruments in Column 3 are in the correct order for your score before proceeding. To change the order, click on the Score Order pop-up menu and choose Orchestral or Concert Band. To manually move the score order of the staves, Highlight an instrument name and click on the up or down arrow to move that instrument to the desired location in the score. 
If I want to save this score configuration as a template and not have to create it from scratch again, click on the Save as New Ensemble button. Give the template a name and click Save. It will be added to the list of templates that can be easily accessed in the previous Setup Wizard window. Click the Next button. Here I can enter my score information, title, subtitle, composer, arranger, lyricist, and copyright information. Press the Tab key to move the cursor to the next box. Click Next. In this window, I can set my time signature. For the key signature, if I click above the slider, I'll add sharps. If I click below the slider, I'll take away sharps and add flats. Click on the pop-up menu to set a major, minor, or keyless score. You can set the number of measures in your score. You can always add or delete measures later at any time. I can set the tempo marking or add a metronome marking. When the tempo marking box is checked, it will appear in the score. If I have a pickup measure, I'll add the sum of the pickup notes. For example, if I have three eighth note pickups, that equals a dotted quarter note, so I'll click on that note value. The pickup measure box is checked, so it will appear in the score. Click Finish and the score appears on screen. The playback sounds and instrument transpositions are automatic for each staff. After you have opened your score, you can always go back and change the playback sounds. If you prefer to display your score in concert pitch while entering notes, click on the document menu, Display in Concert Pitch. And now all staves have the same key signature. When finished entering the notes, go back and deselect that option and your instrument transpositions are automatic.